properties of triangles sheet 1 sheet 1 so the first problem of the sheet is okay we are in all these cases we are talking of triangle abc right the first problem of the sheet is to judge the authenticity of the statement for a triangle abc is sin a plus sin b greater than sin c is it true because a plus b is greater than c sum of two sides greater than the third a can be written as 2r sin a b as 2r sin b so 2r sin a plus sin b which is greater than 2r sin c therefore sin b plus sin a plus sin b greater than sin c is a true statement hmm? problem number 2 which is like a sin b minus c plus b sin c minus a plus c sin a minus b we need to show is zero now just look at one of the terms they all look alike right look at say so this this is conventionally written as summation a sin b minus c sum of terms of the kind a sin b minus c that's how we write it in summation notation right a sin b minus c a can be written as 2r sin a right but sin a is sin pi minus b plus c sin a is sin pi minus b plus c which is sin b plus c right sin pi minus theta is sin theta what no yeah so this is 2r sin b plus c into sin b minus c hey sin b plus c into sin b minus c is sin square b minus sin square c another result which we have discussed earlier right 2r sin square b minus sin a plus b into sin a minus b is sin square a minus sin square b right huh so this is like the first term is going to be 2r sin square b minus sin square c plus sin square c minus sin square a is what would become of this plus sin square a minus sin square b b would be this term you can see all terms are getting cancelled here this is very clearly equal to 0 sin square b would sin square b sin square c with sin square c sin square a with sin square a they're all getting cancelled right how many of you solved it right okay not this way Huh? Oh, you didn't get the answer. So, how did you solve it right? <laughs> oh, you tried it. You attempted it. No, no, that's okay. Clear? Shall we proceed to the next problem? Problem number three. A square sin square b minus sin square c plus b squared sin square c minus sin squared a plus c squared sin squared a minus sin squared b is zero. Hey, a sin b, huh? No, no. We had two r sine square b minus sine square c. How is it connected to the previous result at all? So, so see, a sine b is the same as b sine a, isn't it? 
a by sin a is b by sin b that means a square sin square b will be the same as b square sin square a so there is a a square sin square b that will get cancelled with b square sin square a yes or no right a square sin square b would get cancelled with b square sin square a similarly a sin c is the same as c sin a squaring so a square sin square c would get cancelled with c square sin square a right and similarly b sin c is the same as c sin b right so b square sin square c would get cancelled with c squared sin squared b which is obviously zero yes or no problem number 4 is a squared cos squared b minus cos squared c same thing actually b squared cos squared c minus cos squared a plus c squared or minus c squared cos squared b minus cos squared a we need to show is zero very simple because this is a squared sin squared c minus sin squared a cos square minus cos square will give me sin square of this because this i can write as 1 minus sin square b this i can write as 1 minus sin square c so this is what becomes of it then this will become b squared sin square a minus sin square c minus c squared sin square a minus sin squared b and again using the same set of results all terms will get cancelled a sin b is the same as b sin a b sin c is the same as c sin b terms would get cancelled in pairs leading you to this a minus sin squared c oh sin squared a minus sin square b sin square a minus sin square b so 3 and 4 essentially the same problems there is no difference yes yeah which is the same right that one will get cancel leading you to these uh, would be the residual terms isn't it which is the same thing are you all okay with this or not okay pradeep not okay with this okay number 5 is about b plus c cos a plus c plus a cos b plus a plus b cos c is a plus b plus c very simple see b cos a plus a cos b is c isn't it b cos a plus a cos b is c projection formula did i tell you the projection formula a is b cos c plus right so b cos a plus a cos b will be c then c cos a plus a cos c c cos a plus a cos c will be b <coughs> right and then c cos b plus b cos a c cos b plus b cos a see there is b cos a here and there is c cos b there c cos b plus b cos a is <coughs> c cos b plus b cos c c cos b plus b cos c 
these are the remaining terms that will be a so that's a plus b plus c right so you just need to pair terms appropriately and deploy projection formula here right proceed into b cos c minus c cos b is b squared minus c squared what do we do with this either we can write this as a b cos c minus a c cos b that is the left hand side right a b cos c minus a c cos b now this is a b cos c is a square plus b square minus c squared by 2 a b that is cos c cos c is a square plus b square minus c square by 2 a b minus a c cos b is a square plus c squared minus b squared by 2 a c so this is like a square plus b squared minus c squared minus a square plus c squared minus b squared which is very clearly b squared minus c squared <coughs> right <coughs> cosine formula is all that i have used here Shall we proceed? Do you all understand whatever I have done here? Next problem, problem number 7 which is like BC cos A plus CA cos B plus AB cos C is also direct application of cosine formula. Re write cos A as B square plus C square minus A square by 2BC. by 2 sorry this whole by 2 I am so sorry <coughs> the next problem problem number 7 is also direct application of the same right cos a to be replaced by b square plus c square minus a square by 2 b c cos b do I need to solve 7 or you can manage hmm? so I am going to skip 7 because 7 is the same kind of thing that we need to use in 7 as we did in 6 b cos square c by 2 plus c cos squared b by 2 is a plus b plus c by 2 See, I could have written this as b into cos square c by 2 is half of 1 plus cos c. Cos square theta is half of 1 plus cos 2 theta. Cos square theta is half of 1 plus cos 2 theta. So, half of 1 plus cos c. Cos square b by 2 is half of 1 plus cos b. Cos square theta by theta is half of 1 plus cos 2 theta right now this I could have written as b plus c by 2 plus b cos c plus c cos b by 2 but b cos c plus c cos b is a which is a so a plus b plus c by 2 which is the semi perimeter of the triangle tell me this 
cos square theta is half of 1 plus cos 2 theta. Yes or no? Cos square theta is half of 1 plus cos 2 theta. Cos square theta half of 1 plus cos 2 theta. Then I clap terms b plus c by 2 and then b cos c plus c cos b by 2 is this which is a by 2. a by 2 plus b plus c by 2. 